Hello, in this short video tutorial we will explain how to use our built-in function Exbarrel fact to pull some information about members of specific financial concepts in the report. Let's start with the simplest example. You can download the whole Excel file from our website, it's called Dimensions, and modify the entries in the example to better understand how it works. But we'll go over the basic elements here right now. So if you click the first cell with the number, you see it calls X barrel fact with four standard parameters to see better. We'll click FX to see all parameters uh, in a separate window. The first one is a ticker or CIK code of the company. Second one is an X barrel tag or what we call TIG, which stands for tag ID. It's our internal definition of financial concepts. You can find all of them in view all definitions list, like here. The third parameter is the year and the fiscal period. The last parameter, optional, we haven't used it before and just start using it here. Here we know that the, there is a member with the name infrastructure member and we can enter that name in the last parameter. Once you press OK, the function returns the dollar value for that member for a specific year and specific fiscal period. If you enter a different member name, you get a different number. More than that, sometimes you may not know the specific name of the XBRL tag for the revenue. Instead, you can use our built-in definitions for normalized concepts. So for example, we just copy the function XBRL fact and replace the actual fact name with uh, the name of the standard concept revenue. And as you can see, it's going to return the same parameter. However, you may not even know the name of the member. How could you get around this situation? First of all, if you put in the optional parameter the keyword all and you just enter this function in a single cell it's going to return the total number of members in the specific financial uh, concept or axis. To obtain more details you have to use the Excel function called array function. For that you know that there will be 12 output uh, 12 records for that you select 12 uh, rows and you select four columns. Why four columns? Because when you select this region, x fact is going to output the dollar values, the units, dimensions, and member names, as you can see below. So what you have to do is just select the given number of uh, rows specified as count and four columns. And once you click inside the formula bar, you hold Control Shift Enter the standard procedure to execute array function. And XBL fact will return you all the elements, dimensions, and members. Members and dimensions and axis are separated by a vertical line. So for example, here we used the name infrastructure member. This is the name here. For the company we consider here as in the, in the example, there are uh, different axes. There is business segment axis and there is also geographical axis. These two are separated by the vertical line under dimension and under member. You can select a sublist of members and XBL Act will output you the subtotals, uh, very much like here that's what we obtained. For that we have another example below where the members are listed as a comma separated list and it doesn't matter uh, if you use uh, lowercase or uppercase because the function uh, does uh, case insensitive comparison of member names. And as you can see we listed two members and obtained two values that are identical to the values that we uh, obtained individually for each member. Another example below for a different company with different number of uh, members and 
we can see again we have two axes so the product or service axis and statement geographical axis and for each one you have the member name and the actual dollar value with this we finish our tutorial thank you